marketing campaigns let you send emails and perform other actions over the span of the campaign. These steps can be spread out over intervals of time, and they can also be triggered by specific scenarios defined within the campaign. In this video, I want to show you how to add an email template into the workflow of a campaign in ACT Marketing Automation. To start off, make sure that you're logged into your ACT database and then go to your Marketing Automation button on the left. From here, click Campaigns at the top, and then you'll be able to see a list of all of your current campaigns. I'm going to locate a new campaign that I just created. It's called Welcome New Customers. I'm going to click this button to open that campaign. Here we can see the current workflow of the campaign. When I created this campaign, I chose a pre-built template that's designed to welcome and nurture any new customers. Now these steps are only placeholders, so I need to add specifics to each step along the way, beginning with the first one at the top, the send email step. I'm going to add an email template to this step, and to do that, I'll click this box, and then what we want to do is edit email content. So I'll leave that selected and click go. This opens the template designer, and it includes a generic welcome email in this design for me. Now from here, I could design an email from this template itself, or since I've already designed the email, I can go to my Actions menu and then choose Import My Templates. Now from the Select Template dropdown, I can just choose the email template that I created earlier. It's called Welcome New Customer. So I'll select that and click Import. And my template loads into my designer. So from here, I could make some changes to this template to customize it for my current campaign. And if you do this, make sure you click the blue Save button at the top. I'm happy with the way it looks right now. And so before moving on, I have to change the default subject field for this email. Otherwise, we won't be able to send it. So to do this, let's go to the Actions menu and then choose Properties. When the properties window opens up, you can see the name of this first email step is called email series one. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna name it welcome email. And then for the subject line, I'm gonna change it to welcome to Cloudwalker, since that's the name of my fake business. The pre-header field allows you to display a line of text that your subscribers will see before opening the email, and this is an optional field. Once you've made all your changes, click update and it takes you back to your email template, including your new subject line in parentheses. Now, if you think you're gonna use this modified email template again in the future, what you wanna do is go to your actions menu and then choose save copy as. That'll let you make a copy of this template so that you don't have to recreate it if you need it again. We may as well click save one more time before we proceed. And once it's saved, I'm gonna to go to my actions menu one more time and I'll click return. Now this is going to take me back to my welcome new customers campaign viewing its workflow. And now you can see this first step, the send email step now says welcome email because I changed the name of the step. Next up, we're going to look at how to adjust the time intervals that we see between the stages. 